An alleged murderer is dead here tonight after a shootout with deputies. That's according to the Harris County Sheriff's Department. It all started just after one o'clock here this afternoon in Third Ward. Fox 26's Abigail Dye was there on the scene all day long. She's joining us now from the newsroom to break down exactly what happened. That's right, Anthony. Chaotic, intense. I mean, those are the words that come to mind. And officials say that they've been looking for this suspect since September 9th, who they say killed a third grade teacher who was just trying to help a friend. Swarms of law enforcement and yellow tape cover a now quiet park after some chaotic moments. 17. It was over 17 gunshots. A gunfight between three Harris County deputies, two DPS troopers, and a murder suspect. They jumped out their car and started chasing him. They started, okay, started. And when he got in the back of the house, they started shooting him. The deputies and troopers weren't hurt, but the suspect died on scene. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says the suspect, believed to be Dimitri Humphrey, is accused of killing Shantavia Reddick on September 9th, who officials say was just trying to help her friend get away from an abusive relationship with Humphrey. Uh, that morning, Humphrey allegedly shot uh, Mrs. Reddick, as well as her dog. And since then, since September 9th, uh, we've been actively pursuing him. Larry Satterwhite with Houston Police says the search led here. They received information, intelligence today, that the primary suspect was in this area over here at 2600 Calumet. As officials were surveilling this area, they saw Humphrey get out of this white Jeep. And then he went over to this playground and sat on a slide. That's when officials tried to approach Humphrey and things got ugly. Unfortunately, the suspect took off running as they approached, produced a firearm and started shooting at the troopers and Harris County deputies that were trying to get him into custody. The Harris County District Attorney will do a parallel investigation with Houston police who have jurisdiction over the area into the shooting itself. Now, Sheriff Gonzalez says that part of that investigation will be collecting security video, if any is available, of exactly what happened at Riverside Park today. We'll be sure to keep you updated as we learn more information on this. Abigail Dye, Fox 26 News.